I'm going to be showing you the seven steps of building your very own community website. There's a guide down below that you can download for free that you can follow along as we go through the seven steps and what you need to consider for building your empire. Let's go over the overview of the seven different steps or the seven different things you need to consider with building your own website for your community. Here they are. You need to have a home base, an opt-in form, a place where you can get paid, a place where you can have community, a message board, or an audio channel, a place where you can contact people, automating your follow-ups, tracking progress and effectiveness, and automating or streamlining the whole thing. Now, this might seem like a lot, but don't worry. Take a deep breath in. A lot of platforms already do a lot of these things baked in, but we need to first break down where you are, what you already have, so you don't have to rush out and just get the most trendy platform. Look at where you are right now. See if you need to add a few things or switch platforms altogether and take ownership and have a plan for your own business, your own community, because there are so many different ways to do this. So let's begin with number one, home base. A home base is where you're going to have your audience and you you own it. If you're on social media, even if you have a Facebook group, if Facebook decides to shut down or kick you out, you lose all your community. Same thing with YouTube or Twitter. If you're staying on a social media or a platform that someone else owns it, there's a uh, there's a possibility that you can get kicked out off and then you lose all that. So you need to think about a home base where you can either own, you own the domain and you own a place where people can go. So you need a, a landing page or a website. So even though you have, just like you're watching this on YouTube or another site, this is where this video lives, but I have my own community where I tell people, hey, I have Doc's help desk where people can get support, and that's my community. That's a private paid community that people can access different perks for my own community and me answering questions where I'm away from YouTube and other platforms so I can build my own audience. And if you want to check that out or join, there's a link down below. Now, the next part is the opt-in. Now, the opt-in are two different things. Number one, if people aren't ready to necessarily be your um, be a member, you can always have an opt-in just like we have an opt-in for the seven steps. That's for people to first join the email list and see if they even like it before they even get any paid offering. The opt-in form also allows you to collect data so you can allow them to sign into your into your site later on as well. So that's the opt-in form. So you can use it to have a lead magnet or collect information to give them access to the site later on. There's a couple different avenues or reasons why you have it. The next part is getting paid. So getting paid, you need to have a checkout portal or processor. Um, and that allows you to take payment if you're taking Stripe payments, PayPal, whatever it is, you have a link where people can pay you. It's important because no matter, even if you're starting out with your platform or your community being free, you want to have multiple tiers and you're going to have to have a, a paid tier eventually, either on the onset, which I encourage, or eventually. And that's because you're going to need to make this sustainable. It costs money to run a community and you're going to need somewhere to process the money so you can have recurring income. Either they're going to pay either monthly, weekly, annually, whatever you want the cadence, you need to have a place where you can get that money. Now, the next part is where we talk about community. There are so many different types of communities and you're just giving them access to that community. The community can be wherever you want to redirect it. It can be a Slack channel. It can be a Discord channel. It can be on a platform like Podia, Uscreen, Heartbeat. It doesn't matter. You need to have a place where people can have access to a, a place where they can communicate either with yourself or with other members. You have to come to that decision. In the comment section down below, let me know what kind of community do you want. Do you want Discord where you can actually have different audio channels and people can chat and do those kind of things? Do you want it more as a message board? Do you want it to look like uh, Reddit or, or something like that? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, the next portion that you're going to need to have is a CRM, which is a customer relationship management system. So it's a CRM. You hear that a lot. Now, that is something like uh, MailChimp or ConvertKit, SendFox, et cetera, or it can just be where you're collecting information 
and it can be even a spreadsheet if you wanted to where it automatically populates the spreadsheet there's tons of ways but the bottom line is you need to contact people and you need to have a record of your people your membership your community you need to track to make sure if they leave you can you can follow up with them or just track how many people are coming in and out of your community that's really important now the next part is you're going to have to have automated follow up and as we go through these last three these are nice to have you don't have to have them right now but it makes your life so much easier because once you start scaling your business if you're going to try to follow up with a hundred a thousand, ten thousand of your members, it's going to be a lot, and you're going to be stressed. So you're going to want to have automated follow up of when people are joining your community. You're already giving them a drip campaign, or you're giving them content, and that's that's already going to allow them to get your branding, your messaging as they go. So you're going to have to have automated follow up. The next one is you're going to have tracking process and effectiveness. So how is the current tech stack functioning? Are there any gaps? What is your audience saying? So this is really, as you're getting going, you wanna make sure that you're tracking how many people are using your community. What are they doing? What are they saying? That's something to consider. And the last part is automat automating the process or are you going to be streamlining? This helps you to really put this thing on rails so you can really scale your community so you can work on the community experience, work on different things you wanna do, the, the initiatives versus working on the tech and feeling overwhelmed. Now, again, the link is down below if you wanna check this whole workbook out, but this is really gonna help you get to the next level with your business. And there are tons of different options out there. Like I mentioned, there's Uscreen, there's Heartbeat, there's Member Stack. And depending on what you need, what kind of business you're running, what kind of community you're creating, there are pros and cons of, of the different platforms, what you're choosing to use. If you're going to be using Slack and other uh, things, WordPress, uh, if you're going to use Webflow and Member Stack, there's tons of things. If you want me to break down my top seven platforms that I use to build communities for myself and my clients and my students, let me know and we'll create a video in the future if there's demand for it. But if not, the most important thing you have to do is understand the fundamentals of what you need to do, how to create a community website with these seven fundamental components to really go. Remember, you don't have to feel overwhelmed. There are tons of platforms that have all of those things all in one, but you can be empowered. You can decide if you're going to be using a WordPress uh, landing page, a website, whatever you want to do, card. There are so many ways to mix and match. And if you want to see this in an upcoming video, let me know. In the comment section down below, let me know where you're at, what kind of community you're building. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you like and subscribe.